okay so i will just uh, explain now the gradient uh, finding the numerical derivative using gradient function okay uh, gradient function is a straightforward it will give you the value of slope or derivative of a function at the point you want not at the midpoint of the interval okay so this is the code gradient f comma h the initial style is the same okay so for example i want to uh, find the derivative of, of a function suppose exponential x minus x square plus 5x okay now uh, interval from where to where suppose i need uh, 0 to 10 okay remember uh, little space we can use we can also use the col uh, colon operator as we did but just for your uh, revision we can use linear space as well so x1 0 to 10 okay and the number of data point suppose i i make 10 for example okay and then i need to find the y uh, at all those this value of x so and then okay uh, here we need a step size see here f uh, comma h gradient okay so better to use the colon operator to get x 1 to 10 and Uh, 1 to 10 with a step size of 0 0.1 okay so derivative d the numerical derivative using diff function sorry not diff gradient gradient y okay and then a step size same as this so it will do all the calculations at this step size okay this is gradient now if we want to compare this with the exact derivative de suppose okay differentiate this one with respect to x apply calculus so that will be exponential x same minus 2 times x and plus 5 okay Now, I want to plot numerical derivative x comma d with data point circle and then the exact derivative okay same x I can use and then de okay. I can run this code need to save first it is slow Okay, it's coming. So I give the file name. Let's see. Okay, it's running. So no errors here. Now you can see this one. Uh, numerical integration uh, value. Sorry, numerical de uh, derivative value at those points with the circle. And this is the continuous line for the exact. We can go back to the code. Uh, okay, here we didn't use. Wait a second. 
we didn't use any okay s square you can see the square one is exact derivative and the circle is numerical derivative and in, in this one all those points um, gradient function calculates the derivative by uh, midpoint formula okay and the last one it will take last two points so it is expected that in last values in, in a beginning or the end values it may have more error okay and we can calculate also the error Uh, error e how we can calculate uh, d e minus d okay uh, let's see say we calculate uh, the percentage error and maybe we can take absolute of all of them so no positive no negative and then we can plot the error with x okay we can use subplot to you uh, to plot both of them all uh, right now i will just de deactivate this and see the errors between the numerical and okay and then mistake there dot is was missing one error is there for sure let's see okay now I don't have error so I should get Okay, uh, plot and uh, use bullet points. Ah, sorry, uh, e x comma e, not e comma x, right? X axis, and then we want to see the error. Okay. yes now you can see this error in the beginning yeah little bit high 0 0.5 percent and last point it is showing as i told you this is expected in the beginning and in the end because it's approximate okay the error is high and rest of the error you can see it is less than 0 0.5 so around 0 0.2 0 0.3 something like this that's acceptable for a numerical method okay so this is all about gradient method i have already uh, discussed about the uh, diff function okay that's it good luck